Hello, my name is Steve Houston. If you're brand new here, welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk about the financial services industry, specifically in mortgage section and final expense, but we compare the IMOs. We talk about the differences between the IMOs. We talk about those network marketing type IMOs, which recruit, recruit, recruit. Don't get any of those out of the order. We talk about the compensation plans, the products, really all things that you should be considering uh, if you're going to join this industry or if you're already in this industry. And if possible, I provide third-party documentation to back up my opinions slash rhetoric. This week, I just want to send you out a quick video. I got somebody to call me from my YouTube channel by the name of Trey. And I referred him out to uh, one of my agents to talk to just to get kind of a third-party validation of what the, how great this opportunity is. I get back an email that says, Steve, you guys are running a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> well, Trey, I want to address that with you right now. First of all... Uh, clearly, you don't have a clue what a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme really is. It's a big misconception out there. I'm usually related to the network marketing industry, right? I've never heard someone relate that to the insurance industry, one of the oldest industries on the planet. And by the way, the most highly regulated industry on the planet. Maybe it's because you think because you can build your own agency and you can hire people or recruit people to this industry. It makes it a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme. So I figured I would use the old Google to see what Ponzi schemes and pyramids are really about. So let's go there and take a look at that. Okay, so let's just start out with pyramid scheme. What does that say? It says a form of investment in which each paying participant recruits two further participants with returns being given to early participants using money contributed by the latter. Big warning sign here. If you sign up with any IMO where you're paid money to the agent, to get signed up, run away. Not what we do here. We don't make any money on signing people up. That's the first sign that you're in a pyramid scheme, right? You can join our agency, you can join our IMO, zero cost, we charge for nothing, we don't charge for technology, and there's no charge whatsoever. We do charge for some events, and we do charge for leads. I don't, the IMO does, but that you're buying something. When you give someone cash or money in exchange for nothing, that's when you gotta start watching out what you what's going on, okay? So let's take the other one. The other one would be Ponzi. This definition says a Ponzi scheme is a form of fraud that lures investors and pays profits to early investors with funds from more recent investors. The scheme leads victims to believe that profits are coming from product sales or other means, and they remain unaware that other investors are the source of the funds. All right, well, as you can see, the insurance industry doesn't really line up with what a pyramid and Ponzi scheme really is. Look, when people start throwing around terms uh, like, like pyramid and Ponzi schemes, I believe it's just a simple ignorance. And if life insurance companies are running a Ponzi scheme, they'd have been shut down a long time ago, and I've been doing this for 33 years, and so... Uh, we seem to have been surviving, but Trey figured out what you and I couldn't figure out, and of course the federal government couldn't figure it out, and that was we're running a Ponzi scheme and a pyramid scheme in the life insurance industry. Do, you know, when people start throwing around terms like pyramid and Ponzi schemes as it relates to really any industry, it's really coming from a, from a simple form of ignorance. They just don't know, right? They don't, they, don't, they don't fully understand what those terms mean. That's why we have the internet. That's why we have the Google back here, right? Uh, you can do a simple search and find out, right? But again, I think it comes back to the fact that if you want to and you're with the right IMO or whatever, you can hire and recruit. But think about that for a second. Uh, you know, State Farm, Farmers, New York Life, the New England, MetLife, they all hire insurance agents, right? Whether you use the word recruit or hire, look, in the corporate world, they, use, they have headhunters that recruit people away from other companies. So even that term doesn't signal that it's a pyramid or Ponzi scheme. You wanna know what a pyramid is? I cut this out from uh, Wall Street Journal in two th 1999. There you go. I'm not sure you can see it on the camera there, but that's the corporate hierarchy structure. Is that better? Right there, maybe? See that guy on the top there? This guy way up here, okay? That's the CEO. You see all these people down here? Look at that. Can you see that? I'm not sure you can see it. There's any lights blowing it up. But that's employees that this guy up here, the CEO, is making money off of. If we all felt like because someone makes money off of your production, that it's called a pyramid, you ought to quit your job because that's what that is in the corporate world. It's a job and someone's always getting bonus, managers, 
business owners, corporations, everybody is making money off of somebody else's production. That's the American dream, right? No different here, except for the fact that we earn it, right? I mean, unless you're with those, one of those organizations that's recruit, 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 you get it, you put in a thousand people, someone's going to make you rich, right? And you don't do anything to serve them and help them and teach them and train them to be successful. Well, then, uh, then I would agree with you. That's, that's, uh, that's a business model that I don't, uh, I don't agree with and I don't, I've never done that. Uh, we serve our agents every single day before, during, and after the sale, in the home, you know, everything. We're there 24-7 basically, really about 16, 17 hours a day from 6 in the morning till almost midnight. We're on the phones talking to our agents in the home or getting them ready for their uh, appointments that, that they have set up for the, for the upcoming day. So it really goes back to controlling the mind, the six inches of brain matter between your two ears. I find that to be the biggest, that's why I talk about it so much on this channel. I find that to be the number one problem in most agents. You allow your brain to stop telling you things that simply aren't the facts, right? You've got to start talking to yourself and stop listening to yourself because sometimes yourself is selling you a bill of goods. Look at this. You see all, of, all these people? These are cars stuck in traffic going to work every day. Same thing here, right? You see this lovely lady here behind the wheel of her car? Okay, bored stiff. See, I don't want any part of that. That's why I'm in the insurance industry, which by the way, Trey, is not a Ponzi scheme and it's certainly not a pyramid scheme. So I printed out the definition, right? This is right out of the internet. Pyramid schemes, whether or not product-based and Ponzi schemes, are money transfer schemes, meaning that they involve a transfer of money between participants rather than offering either legitimate investments or the production or sale of actual goods or services to those outside of the participants themselves. In the case of Ponzi schemes, new investors are recruited to provide revenues, but no real investment occurs. Instead, early investors are paid dividends or profits from the investments of new investors. <laughs> Nothing to do with what we do. You see, you and I go out there and we sit down face to face, kneecap to kneecap, and I'm getting ready to go out on an appointment this afternoon, and we help people protect their number one asset that they have in their lives, usually, which is their home, right? That's what we do. And we help set them up for a potential income replacement loss from why the one of the two pass away right? We're all going to go out of this world the same way. We're going to die. Or we provide funds for college education, right? We don't collect money as agents. The insurance companies collect money in exchange for insurance, right? The protection of a risk. So let me wrap up this pyramid and Ponzi scheme video to read you some statistics that I think are kind of sobering, right? A staggering 48.5% of all Americans live in a household that receives some form of government benefits. Back in 1983, that number was below 30%, so it's not getting better, right? According to one survey, one out of three Americans would not be able to make a mortgage or rent payment next month if they suddenly lost their current job. I got news for you. Lost their current job? How about one of the spouses dying? Right? I mean, we know that's going to happen, and we know it happens more often, and we also know it's never planned, right? So what we do is we protect them against that, even in case of disability, with living benefits. If they become terminally ill, critically ill, or terminally injured, they can advance the money. So what we do is we, the insurance companies, we set them up as agents with the insurance companies that provide them an insurance plan that in the event those things happen, they're not financially wiped out. So what we do actually does matter. It's quite honorable, actually. And you should understand that that's what we do. And the next time someone pushes back on you and doesn't want to set an appointment with you, I would stop and say, Richard, let me ask you a question. If something happened to you tomorrow and you dropped dead of a heart attack or a car wreck, will your family be able to stay in the home? Yes or no? See, what we're selling is family futures. We're saving people's lives with what we have. See, if that guy dies tomorrow or that girl dies tomorrow, right? Their check doesn't come in next week either. So if the remaining spouse can't pay the mortgage, there's a problem that we help solve. Beyond that, without that paycheck, they may or may not be able to keep that home. They may or may not end up homeless having to move in with their relatives. And the kid's college education is probably in jeopardy, right? So be willing to be passionate about what you do. Control the six inches between your two ears. Don't buy into this Ponzi scheme and pyramid Stuff. Don't buy into this crap, you know, Ponzi scheme and pyramids. Look, those people have a mindset problem that start thinking that way. 
We, we, we are in the oldest industry, one of the oldest industries on the planet. If we were involved in a pyramid or a Ponzi scheme, you don't think it'd been shut down a long time ago? It's just silliness, right? Just silliness. And, and again, it's just people don't understand. No disrespect to this Trey guy who thinks he's, he, he figured out what you and I couldn't figure out and what the federal government couldn't figure out in the last 110 years. He figured it out, right? But see, that guy's going to go to work tomorrow. He's going to go back to a job. He's going to spend his entire life working for this guy at the top who's making money off him. And then just before he retires, he's going to, be, he's going to get spit out with no retirement. Or they're going to steal it from him in an Enron situation or whatever. He's going to end up dying broke or living off of Social Security. See, what you and I do is we go out there, we do a very, very good job for our clients, hopefully. We do it ethically and honestly. We match them up with their medical conditions and age or the right product. So in the event something tragically happens or just normal, normal dying happens, right? Their family is going to get a check that will help them keep their house and protect that family's future. That's what you and I do. Right? And for doing that, we get paid very, very, very well. And we set ourselves up, we're building something which is called a residual income. So that someday, we're not spit out because someone decided one day that we're not needed anymore. And 100% of our income isn't coming from our ability to get up in the morning, put on our, our, our nice clothes and go out there and sell some insurance. Because we've been building a business over a lifetime, or over 10, 15, 20 years, and we have residual income coming in. So if we can't work, if someone in our family can't work and they need to be taken care of, we can be there because we've spent time building a business that we control and we own. Right? So, hey, listen, I hope you like the new digs here. We've been working on it very hard. It's been out of touch here for a couple of weeks while we try to, to clean up our act here a little bit. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Mash the bell. You'll get instant notifications. And make some comments. Like the video if you think that, that I added value to your day today. Uh, and, and again, make some comments. I love responding to the comments. I'll get back to every single person that leaves me a comment. And look, if you're looking for a place to go that you want someone that can be there with you before, during, and after sale, uh, you know, we have a 30-page training manual where we teach you this business inside and out, right from buying leads to after you write the application in the house. The whole thing is detailed out. It's been a, it's been a proven success model I've used for the last uh, several years. And uh, we've got our numbers prove that it works. If you're looking for a place and you have not decided where to go yet, give me a call, send me an email. Uh, let's get on the phone, let's chat. Or if you're someplace where you're stuck, they've capped your income, unless you recruit uh, a bunch of people and you, and, and you feel like you want to go somewhere else, get, reach out to give me a call. If you're, just here to, if you're just here to watch some videos and, and learn, you're welcome to be here. That's what this channel is for. And, uh, but I'm here to serve each and every one of you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.